Hello everyone and welcome to Change Bible Study. David and Abraham stand before us in Romans chapter 4 as uh, the, the case study for accounted righteousness and forgiveness. And in yesterday's lesson we laid out a very, very important principle. And that is that the righteousness that accounted Abraham worthy is the same grace that forgave David. Now, today's verse in Romans chapter 4 is in verse 13. The Bible says, For the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. The only way that Abraham could experience what God had for him was to believe that God was going to perform a miracle. That if he were to have relations with his wife, that from her barren womb, there would be born a child. The only way, the only rationale, there was no medical evidence, there was no uh, family history, nothing that would say that that's going to happen other than because God said so. When he believed what God said, it became reality. And in fact, Abraham became the father of a great nation. So now, when we see how this came to pass, it was because Abraham believed. The de-emphasis in the story of Abraham is on works. In fact, what Abraham and Sarah worked out, it did not work out well. When they had Ishmael and the rivalry that was then created, when Isaac finally came on the scene, there could not be an intermingling of faith and works. They can't exist together. One has to stay and the other will go. So it's either all about Jesus or all about me. Not a little bit of Jesus and a little bit of me. Even a whole lot of Jesus and a little bit of me is ultimately all me. So, Abraham's secret or mystery, because we're unveiling, it's not a secret anymore, but it's still a mystery, that a God of love would make the only uh, denominating factor in experiencing this have nothing to do with what I've done or who I am, but simply a matter of believing all that he has done for me. So, Abraham is considered an heir, a part of the law, in the same way that we are considered righteous apart from the law, but because of what Jesus has done. Let's not forget this, and let's continue to know more about this. So until next time, please remember to change.